this ain't button we communicating to the right pitch uh, even my boo i got eva's corner is going down i need to know how tardy is too tardy for the party like we all want to be like fashionably late right and no one wants to be the first person at a party but is it like 15 minutes, 20, 30, an hour? Like, what is the time that's appropriate? And what is the point in which it's just considered rude? I'm just asking for free. So, Eva's Corner is coming up in a second. I need to know what y'all think. Hey, we live at Naturally. Hey, hey, our times when you'll need someone, I will be by your side. Oh, one hour, one hour. Okay, what do you do if it's a wedding? Hey, kind of lava lava. Hey, am I do my teas? I want to know from y'all what y'all think. If you want to, um, it depends on what kind of party. I agree, sissy. Like if it's a wedding, I'm gonna need you on time. If it's an event at someone's house, 30 minutes to 45. If it's a function out in the streets, that's where you could be an hour late, like a birthday party at a club or something. But I just want to know what y'all think. Because as I get older, punctuality matters even more. I think an hour late, I agree, is rude. Um, but, you know, I come from the world of to be early is to be on time, to be on time is to be late, and to be late is unacceptable. I don't know. It's just me. I don't want you there when I'm putting out my devil eggs, but I don't want my devil eggs sitting out for an hour without you there either. So, like, it's that happy medium. What is that medium, though? That's what I want to know, especially for us, because we come from a, a world of CP time. So, I just want to know, because in Atlanta, two hours after the fact is on time for them. Well, Rock T, how tardy is too tardy for the party? No one wants to be the first guest at an event, but when does tardy turn into just simply rude? I want to hear from y'all. Give us a call at 866-9-RICKY. That's 866-9-RICKY. Is it 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour? Hit me up now in Eva's Corner. Hey, huh? Hey, hey. Oh, now I'm a... Yeah. I want to meet you in the morning, but I need you now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's my little record. I don't know the words, but I be singing it like I do. I need. And I'm at my other work job. You already know. Hey, all the Queens men. Let's go. Let's go. I feel it coming, y'all. Time is of the essence. Time is of the essence. Y'all heard it. That's what he said. Give you need some lessons. Give it up to late to be early. Now I do have those friends that if I say the party started at three, they there at three oh two. Ding dong. But I would prefer that. Then, like, the party's over at 9 o'clock and you showing up at 8.40 talking about some where the food at. What you mean? Where the food at? Can you help me take out the trash? Because it's over. I'm just saying. Yes. All the Queens men, the morning show, got my podcast. We ain't going to pass up not a narrow bag. Eh. Eh. And Madam coming back with a vengeance, just so y'all know. Talk in your body, baby. You welcome to come to eat whenever you want to. Just bring some money. She ain't tripping. Unless you come up in there with a, you know what I'm saying? As long as you good, you want to see some sexiness, you got some bread, we on. Oh. Be early, leave early. Look, sis, that's the way I do it. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Love my body. Good morning, Keith Jackson. Okay, so I'm seeing on average it's sounding like 30 minutes is an appropriate time. So are you still required to accommodate somebody that comes to your event an hour and change late? Like, oh, it's no more this left. Well,
Give me all that you need. Give me what you need. Give me what. Give me all that you need. Give me all you need. Give me what you need. You want to work at the club? Royal caution? Hey. I do agree. It depends on the party. Like, if it's a block party, you don't have to be there early, right? But we talking about just a regular three-hour function, four-hour function. What is the appropriate lag time for the function? I'm just asking. Hey. Oh, the hard work women. Women. And every day, super every day super we moms. got a little something I for, got you. for you. It's, it's Eva's Corner. Corner on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. 12 minutes before the top of the hour. Yes, indeedy. Eva for Shiva got the corner. <laughs> What's happening? Good morning, Rock T. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Eva's Corner, where we talk about all things womanhood, motherhood, and the juiciness in between. And today, I want to talk about good old-fashioned etiquette. How tardy is too tardy for the party? Now, let's be clear. We have a thing called CP time in our culture. We definitely like to be fashionably late, make our little statement, and no one wants to be the first guest at an event, right? However, for an average party that might last about three, four hours, how tardy is rude because this weekend I helped my girlfriend tie the knot and it was a beautiful beautiful wedding however I did notice this thing that Atlanta does which is make sure they're late to everything now maybe I'm just different I come from a world of to be early is to be on time to be on time is to be late and to be late is unacceptable now is it just me y'all but is tardy just rude or is that something that I need I need to learn to be a little tardier? Y'all let me know. I mean, Gary, Brad. Well, I don't mm -mm. like to be late. I don't like to be late mm -hmm. for stuff. If I'm late, it's it's a real serious reason like why I'm late. Like something went wrong with something. But I like to be on time. I don't like I mean, when people are late to something where everybody is seated and yes. you come in late. That's really like a, <laughs> whether a wedding, yeah. a funeral, anything like that where people are seated and then you come walking in in the middle of the thing. That's just... Looking yeah, for a chair. comedy show yeah. or somewhere, and you, yeah, and they come sitting in the front interrupting. What about everything. you, Gary? You yeah. always like to be fashionable. I, I, but I'm a stickler for time. I do not like being late. If I got to go to church late, I don't go because I don't want to be crossing all over. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> I don't like all that. I had to get on damn time, honey. So I do not like being late for nothing. My mama said people gonna be late for their own damn funeral. So, yeah. uh, -uh. Well, I don't like the food picked over, personally. Like, I want to get there, and people have already started meddling with the hors d'oeuvres. Like, I want some of the first deviled eggs. Is it just me, Rock T? I mean, <laughs> it depends on the type of event, but there are some perks from being one of the first ones there. Like, if of course, if it's a wedding or a baby shower or something like that, yeah, you don't want to be late. If it's a concert or something, okay, get there early. If it's a house party, all right, maybe you can get there an hour, and an hour and a half late because, you you know, everyone else, is, it's a house party. But, but see, Brock T, that what? house party, if you come to my house 30 minutes before the party over, don't ask me for a cocktail. <laughs> don't, don't ask me for a drink. Don't ask me if there's any more ribs left. You are late, bruh. But, the, but when but, is the party ever over? If it's a house party, it ain't, it ain't over till the last person drags out. That's so why late? you can't come late. But one of the perks <laughs> of getting there early is you can go ahead and get there early, say what's up, say hi to everybody, get your little nibble on, and then you can be gone. <laughs> Yeah. Absolutely. And you get better parking, yep. all of those things. I just learned that in Atlanta, people are traditionally late. And to be late is a normal thing. It's, it's new for me. But I would love to hear from the callers. What is late? What is too late? Is it 15 minutes? Is it 30? Is it an hour? Does it depend on the type of event? Or are we just allowed to be late because we black and CP time r runs into our blood? <laughs> I don't know. I want to hear from the callers. Well, all right, let's go, man. Ricky Smiley Morning Show, you are on. Let us know what time it is. 8669-RICKY. Hello. So listen, let me tell you something. This is what I think. It depends on whose party it is. And I know okay. that probably don't make sense, but if it's my party, everybody coming early. You won't know why. If they ain't coming for the food, they just coming for the plain madness. I think it depends on whose party it is. I think if you show up and you're not at the party at least an hour, I think that's rude. So before 
the party ends, I think about an hour. If you're not there, I think that's pretty rude. By the way, my name is Eva, and I'm always late. So anything after an hour, <laughs> just take your black ass home. Because you ain't want to go in the first place. <laughs> that's a good point. Because if you're late, Look. you probably didn't even want to go. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Eva. You got to hold us down. Now, that's my namesake. We got to be on time, y'all. I think a cushion time is good, but let's be considerate. Or not. That's late. I was late getting out the break. <laughs> Thank you, y'all. No worries. I appreciate it. <laughs> well, that's my spot. Thank you. I like the good seating and the good parking. And I don't like my food picked over. I mean, it's just me.